Hello everyone. I was going to make this video uh, hoping that it's going to help a lot of you who have been attacked. Uh, my sister Rita, she now lives with uh, Preston. Preston has a great big two-story house and she lives downstairs in the house and he lives upstairs with his family and the house is big. And uh, before Rita moved in with him, she used to have demon attacks. And I'm talking about she heard growling demons. I've even been at her house where those demons growled. And uh, even my daughter heard them. And, uh, but thank God she moved out of there and she now lives with Preston. I was talking to her a few days ago and she was telling me that when she was laying down, she felt a spirit get on the bed. She could feel the weight of the bed going down where the spirit got on the bed. She said she sat up. She said, oh, no, you're not going to start that here. And I told Rita, I said, you tell that demon in the name of Jesus, he's got to go. Well, I didn't tell Preston that Rita had a demon attack. And he was telling me, he said, Donna, I was going down my stairs and I met up with a demon on my stairs. And I said, oh, no, in the name of Jesus, I'm not putting up with this. And Preston said that demon went after his family. He said everybody was in there arguing and fussing and fighting. He said a depression came on him that he couldn't even get up and do anything. Said he laid in his bed. Said he was tired all the time. He didn't feel like getting up. And uh, But he won victory over that church. God got Preston up out of that bed because God ain't going to let his sight stay down too long. Is he church? But this was something that the Holy Spirit told me about the attack of the devil and the depression. The Holy Spirit said, the devil knows the word of God and he knows the power of binding the strong man. The Holy Spirit said, listen to me, Donna. The devil knows to come into your house, church, to spoil your house. He's got to first bind the strong man. And that's what he's doing to each and every one of you. The devil's coming into your homes and he's binding you. He's putting you in a deep depression to where he's putting you in cords of darkness. He's putting ropes around you. He is binding you in that darkness because he doesn't want you to get up. He doesn't want you to be able to move. And while you're laying there, church, he is spoiling your house. He's stealing and robbing and taking from you because he knows he can't come walking up in there when you're all full of the Holy Ghost, can he, church? So he must bind the strong man so he can spoil your goods. I told the Holy Spirit of God, I said, I tell you what, I'm marching into the enemy's camp. I'm taking back everything he stole from me. Everything he took from me, I want it back. And I said, the word says he has to pay me back sevenfold. And this was what the Holy Spirit of God said to me. And I said, "Woo, that's some good stuff right there. He said, Donna, everything anyone has lost for my name's sake, whatever they have lost, when they enter the kingdom of God, I will restore back to them a hundredfold. I will give all back to them that they lost, that was taken from them. I will restore it a hundredfold. I said, oh, that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful right there, Holy Spirit. I said, but I'm still marching into the enemy's camp. I don't know about y'all, but he done killed my cat. I done took enough of my family members through cancer. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little sick and tired of him taking from me. And he ain't about to come over here and bind the strong man over here. Because I tell you what, I got the oil in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I come against that devil and I'm going to bind him in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to go into that enemy's camp. And I told the Holy Spirit, what do I bind him with? He said, with cords of light. Cords that are ropes that are dripped and covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what you'll bind him with, with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I said, woo, glory, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I don't know about y'all church, 
Don't let that devil come into your house and bind the strong man. Because that's what he's been doing. He's been trying to bind you and attack you and put that depression on you. Because when you're in that state, you cannot fight. So when you're not able to fight, he comes right on in there. And he just takes from you like a thief. Because you are not able to stand. And I told Preston, I said, I've been praying for you, brother. I know you've been under attack because I know you usually talking. And when I don't hear you talking and singing the praises of God, I know something's wrong. And Preston said, yeah, I've been under attack. That enemy tried to attack me. He said, but you know what? God raised me up in the power of the name of Jesus Christ. And he said, I rebuke that spirit and it's gone. I said, amen. I still ain't told him yet about the demon downstairs uh, from Rita. So I guess today when I see him, I'll be letting him know about that. Because uh, y'all be praying for my sister Rita because uh, uh, she's really been uh, under attack from the enemy. And he just works overtime on her. And But you know what? No weapons formed against us will prosper. Amen, church. Amen. Because I tell you what, he's not going to take my sister. Let's stand together in prayer, church. Let's stand together as one against this enemy. Because one will put a thousand to flight and two will put ten thousand to flight. Amen. There's power in numbers. God bless each and every one of you today. In Jesus Christ's most holy name.